who so I'm, I'm not even totally sure where this video is heading but right off the top i just want to say you know if you're one of the game of thrones people and you clicked on this video thank you for hanging around and just trying out whatever the football people that are here you know that showed up for the browns or the buckeyes you know they patiently waited now it's their time of season fish fans have been getting their thing and there's more to come but the Game of Thrones people are like, dude, come on, man. We get like one video a week for two and a half months, and then the rest of the year, it's just like, I'm not into football, especially not into Ohio football. I've never even heard of fish, but hey, man, so I don't know. I guess this is, this is your Game of Thrones mention. Even though I'm talking nothing about the show, I just don't know what to say. You know, I mean, it's, a, it's the off season. I've never read the books, still haven't to this day read the books. And uh, it just seems like everything's just speculation at this point. I suppose as it gets closer to the season, maybe I'll make a little preview, like what I think. But right now, I have to go back and watch the last three or four episodes just to kind of remember what the deal was. do kind of want to know what the deal is with Euron Greyjoy, though, man. That's the one in the Red Woman, of course. I don't think we've seen the last of her or, well, we perhaps have seen the last of her titties. Maybe. We'll see. You never know. She likes to whip them suckers out. <laughs> or at least the producers and directors too. So okay, now on to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you may maybe you already posted the RG three video. I don't know. I guess I was just surprised. But I mean, you know, like I said in that video, it doesn't change anything for the Browns. McCown's just gonna come in and if things get real bad, perhaps they'll go to Kessler, but it doesn't really change anything for the Browns. Most teams you lose your starting quarterback in week one, you're just doomed. Well we're pretty much already doomed, so Ohio State and Oklahoma, that's a big deal. I'm going to have to check out and see what's up with Oklahoma. I know they lost that first week to Houston, but I don't really know what their deal is. May have to fire up the Ohio State football preview videos starting now. Maybe wait till the Big Ten season starts, but got the Browns preview video rocking. Thought about even doing the Browns, Buckeyes, like, together, the combo video, preview video, but then I was like, eh, hey, what if there's Browns fans that hate the Buckeyes or the other way around? You know, there's a lot of Buckeye fans that like the Bengals. Somehow, some way, they squeaked one out yesterday. Had to go to work, face the Bengal fans. One guy there, the Jelly Bean guy. You guys might remember the infamous Jelly Bean guy. He likes the Jets somehow. I think he just likes the Jets because he's all—he's always heard so many people around there talking shit about the Jets. So he was like, "I like the Jets." He seems to like everybody that we don't like. Somehow he—he he likes Nebraska. It's cause probably because he heard us talking about them playing Ohio State or something. He's like, yeah, I know they like Ohio State. They're playing Nebraska. He is kind of jelly bean guy. He's a big Midwest guy, though. I don't even think he likes Ohio State. He definitely doesn't like Cleveland. He's probably rooting for Golden State if he even knew anything about basketball. So I don't know. An update on jelly bean guy. He still ain't figured out those jelly beans. He was, a, he was a, what was he talking about today? He had something today. I don't know. I looked over and saw this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big root beer guy, right? A little glare there, of course. But, so I go into this BP station up not too far from my work. And one time when I was in there, you know, I was I had a little 20-ounce A&W root beer. And I asked the dude, he was like, man, you happen to have this in two liters? And they didn't. But then after that, he started getting it in two liters. And he let me know they had it in two liters. And I was like, all right, cool. And, uh now man he's got like three or four different kinds of root beers this is the latest one he even put a sign a little uh, fluorescent sign out handwritten note that they now got dog and suds root beer the world's creamiest root beer and i looked on here man i didn't say anything about the world's creamiest root beer that was his words so now man you know i like root beer don't get me wrong none this was a good one too drive-in style pure cane sugar it was a good root beer actually dog and suds but you know, man, I just feel like I'm being cornered, man. You guys backed me into corner, like, buy my root beer, dude. I mean, I got this root beer for you, dude. I mean, I'm making notes for you, dude, to buy the root beer. So I kind of feel a little bit guilty, if he, especially if he's working. I go in there and I don't buy a root beer. If I fucking buy a Pepsi or something, or if I don't even buy a drink, I'm like, oh, damn it, he's thinking about the root beer, isn't he? One day I bought two two liters. I'm like, shit, this is going to last me a month. It's A&W, though. I don't know about that Barks root beer, though. Not a big fan of the Barks root beer. Big fan of A&W. I don't know, I got a little sidetrack there. Sometimes you just look over and you're like, boom, what were we talking about? We are talking about the football, right? Oh, yeah, the football people getting their payoff. Buckeye previews, Browns previews. Oh, actually, we were talking about RG3. <sighs> Boy, 
you know, that's that guy, the graveyard guy, the guy with the graveyard. I think he was in, I don't know if he lives in Cleveland or not, but the Browns fans, it has all the Browns quarterback tombstones for his graveyard, for his Halloween yard. He can add another one, I guess, because, I mean, I don't know. That's potentially it for RG3. Let's just say that, uh, you know, they're whatever. He doesn't come back this year. You know, maybe he does. He's healthy enough to come back in week 9, 10 or whatever, but it just doesn't happen. They're like, yeah, hey, whatever. We're seeing what Kessler's got, man. Sorry, RG3. And then in the offseason, they cut him. Perhaps next year they draft a quarterback or Kessler even shows them something somehow. And uh, so this could, who's going to pick RG3 up after that? Who's going to give him a chance to play? Could be it, man. Could have been it Sunday. Third and 15. Guy looked at third and 15 all day long. He's like, wow, that was a, that was a great last game. So anyhow, moving on from that, I don't know what else we got. I know we had some other things. Talked about that. Uh, I didn't, didn't plan on that root beer, man. That root beer thing got me all sidetracked. I don't know what to do after that. As you see here, we got the hat on. Probably going to have to go get de-wooked pretty soon, though. I don't know what. I can't handle the long hair. I ain't got it. You know, I think that's going to be a few. I mean, when it was real long, I was kind of okay with that. You know, you can do a lot of things with it there, but this this period in between just didn't happen. I, I, maybe I should just hit pause right here. Totally. Bong hit Bill before the show started, man. Still got the... Uh, Still got the Night 4 Dicks whiteboard hanging up there. Walls of the Cave. I gave Walls of the Cave a check mark, even though I didn't know if I was into high, high energy, bro. Gotta give it a check mark. High energy. First tube. Another one's high energy. I don't know if it's high energy, bro, but hey, it's right up there. Actually, it might be more. Give the Walls of the Cave, you know, a little bit of a nod, because I'm pretty sure the Illusion freaked out for that one, right? He didn't know what the fuck that song was. He didn't know. Get that Mike's groove in there. The wingsuit, though. Party time. It's like I gave party time a dick, it appears. Bathtub gin, melt tube. What am I doing? Am I recapping that again? Might as well check that F Zappa 20 down there. Oh, on my Instagram today, I posted a picture of the uh, Chula Vista whiteboard. Kind of cool, I guess. Be like, oh, yeah, that's right. I was there. There were some people that was, I was there. So, I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't know. I've, 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 every now and then I yap on here about my Twitter. I guess now I'm going to start yapping about my Instagram. What are you going to do? I don't know. I know a lot of people are like, I don't mess with any of that crap. Well, I don't know if a lot of people are like that, but some people are like that. And I really feel for, I feel those people. I'm like, I'm with you, man. I probably, I wouldn't be either, but somehow here I am. But YouTube's my deal. I like YouTube. But then at some point, man, if you're making YouTube videos, you're like, well, I want to share them. I'd like people to watch them, I suppose can't just, you know, you gotta, you gotta try. You gotta go with some F Zappa 20 marketing there, man. The social media links. The links. I don't know. No links on Instagram. Just some random pictures though. Kind of so far, well, I guess that was related to the channel, but so far the F Zappa 20 Instagram, sort of unrelated to the channel. Get some behind the scenes stuff, you know? Stuff I may encounter out there on the road. Took a picture of a car once. It's got a simple town. Had a Kentucky flag. Simple town. Chomper City is where I figured that guy was headed. You know, I might do some fishing. Get to be out there on the lake. Nice picture of a sunset out there on the lake, man. People love them sunset pictures. I don't have a cat or a dog, so you can get a lot of that. I probably I don't know. ain't taking a lot of pictures of my food, man. I'm embarrassed by some of the stuff I eat. Every now and then, though, man, some chicken, homemade chicken tacos. You might get some of that. What am I talking about, dude? I post videos of myself doing dishes. Why would I? Be? You never know, man. You never know what what I what I will and what I won't share. So it's great. Share this little squirt bottle with you guys. Check out this squirt bottle, man. I got that for one dollar. I'll give you one dollar. I don't know, man. I was just feeling it. I had nothing really to talk about, but I was just kind of feeling it. So that's pretty good, man. Went on here for a little while. Stream of consciousness, huh? It's got the, you know, I ain't going to pull that down. But I got this fish calendar up here perhaps seen in one of the videos perhaps seen in one of the whiteboard videos maybe it was great with anyhow it's actually from 2007 but I just used a black sharpie and kind of marked over the days and we're all set so now it's 2016 again man I used that calendar nine years ago saved it boom back in action probably can't use it ever again though right now we're looking at the gorge from 99 oh just past the anniversary September 10th and 11th September 11th 
and uh, the Rosemont Horizon in Chicago, September, uh, looks like 22nd and 23rd of 2000. Mmm, nearing the end, dropping some fish bombs in the picture there. I wonder what them shows were all about, Chicago 2000. I don't know, I don't remember those ones. Those, perhaps I've heard them, but don't jump out at me. I don't know what we got back there. What we got going on, man? What I got going on? I'm just kind of bummed out overall, man. Hearing the word cursed and jinxed when it comes to Brown's quarterback. You know, I'm by into that kind of stuff, but I mean, come on, man. At a certain point, it's getting a little weird. 1999 are these new Browns, we'll say. You know, I know they, you know, it's all it all goes together in the record books. But let's just say since 1999, when they came back, the expansion Browns jinxed. But it seemed like the Ravens should have been jinxed or cursed. And Art Modell and everything, all that shit, man. How come the Browns got jinxed? Is it the C? Maybe it... Mmm. I don't know. I'm starting to think so. Something might be up. LeBron winning that title. Stipe getting it done at the, in the hometown the other night. Doesn't matter. <sighs> you still there? You guys hanging in there? You hanging in there, dude? Trust me. Why? I don't know why you should trust me. Damn. Well, suppose I suppose that's it. What do I even call this? Football talk. I did talk some football. Talk a lot of football. Talk some pea fish. Mentioned Game of Thrones, but didn't realize I said you're on Greyjoy. I did say you're on Greyjoy. Season seven preview. I don't know what Peter Dinklage is going to be up to. He's rocking it with the Khaleesi. Daenerys, Targaryen. Let's see. I don't know, man. We'll see. Jon Snow, bad motherfucker, of course. We got Littlefinger there. Whereas that's more of a Littlefinger thing, I suppose. So there you go. Got more Game of Thrones talk. South Park's coming back. Probably do gonna probably gonna continue with the South Park recaps. They hit us with a couple teasers today. Talking about, uh, you know, election season coming up. Colin Kaepernick. So, nice to see they're not changing. Hmm. Guess that's about it. Still don't know what to call this video, though. That Now that's my problem. What do I call this thing? You almost see the chomper shirt back there. There it is. Worked on some new chomper shirts. Didn't turn out so well. I'll, I'll, hold on there. I'll show you guys what I got. See what you think. Sucks though. Kind of bummed out to be honest with you. I wasn't real happy. Look, Chomp Niner. What the hell? What the hell happened to that E, man? Chomp Niner. You kidding me? Fucked up the screen, man. And, uh, and some other things. Yeah, I'm back here. See, see back here, back here where the light is, is me. Woo! Guess you couldn't see me. There he is. This light came in handy that night when I was, uh, this thing came in handy that one night when I was out of commission. Boy. This is one of them videos, man. It's 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 been it's either it's been either a really great video or you're just like that's it, man. I'm done with this fucking guy. What's he doing? What's he talking about? He's just rambling. He hasn't done anything. Now he's just shining a light right in our face. That's right. Well, this is the face. Went back to the low quality camera here. Although my high quality camera isn't the greatest quality, but this is the lower quality, which is fine. You know. Believe it or not, even though I like to do this thing in video format, I'm not so proud of this sucker. I know, it's, it's gold. It's the gold, I know. That's it. It's, a, it's officially time to wrap. Oh, look, we got the Chomp Niner back there. Oh, damn it. Damn shoulder in the way. Chomp Niner. So what was it? The worst ever or really okay? Like not bad. Like that was alright man. It wasn't bad. It was kind of funny. You had some moments in there. That moment where you walked away and disappeared for a minute. That was the best fucking part. 
Well, well, man, I just don't want to end. You know, this has got to be the new record, right? I forget what my record was. Somewhere in between 10 and 14 minutes, I believe, where I just kind of hit record and went. Did have that moment there. You could say it was, I cheated a little bit when I got up and left. That worked in. It was a natural. Well, you know, I wasn't trying to steal some time there. I'm stealing time from the faulty plan. Well, this was a faulty plan. I was bailing. I like the chomper shirt in there a little bit better. The kit. I like the kit. I feel better talking with it. I feel more comfortable talking with the kit in the background. The kit and caboodle. I don't know about the caboodle, but we got the kit. That's it. I've officially talked about everything in this room. I've talked about everything that I talk about this on this channel. Just don't want to face my problems, man. It's like as soon as I hit stop, man, and go back to reality, and it's like, God damn it. I'm just going to go sit in there on the end of my bed and cry into my own hands. I don't want to let go, man. This video means a lot to me. Fucking RG3. Poor guy. I feel bad for RG3. Redskin fans do not feel bad for RG3. hear that motorcycle guy got motorcycle guy here man he's he just he's deciding to roll out at almost 1 a.m i'd say we've definitely broken the record that was important to me no it wasn't yeah i guess it kind of was i mean look you got problems you're either really either you don't have problems and you're just like no nah, man it's I, I got something to say here i got some things going on or you just got problems you can just hit record and talk to a camera. That's something I think there a minute ago I was just talking to myself. Seriously, I think I forgot I was. I think I forgot what was going on here, and I just started talking to motorcycle guy. Whatever, man. Spend an hour a day around Jelly Bean guy. Imagine if I spent eight hours a day around that guy. I'd be bummed out if Jelly Bean guy watches these videos and knows who he is. That's why some days when I go in there, he's got his head hung low. Alright, so if you didn't get the point, man, check me out on Instagram. That was the whole point of this video, to promote my Instagram. I'm also on Facebook. Maybe every, well, everybody does Facebook. There's one guy out there that does not do Facebook. Did receive one comment. He's like, I don't do any of that crap, man. Call me.